Hello everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 here in our mini Isla Sorna park build. That's right, we're finally back into it. Sorry for the delay for this being a week behind the first episode's release. But today we're going to be continuing off on mini Sorna, which... In the last video, we did our little guest section here for our entrance, entrance, I can't speak apparently, guys, entrance, and also our little security little section on an off-centered island, well, would it really be, what would you call a little bit, would you count it as part of the island, or would you count it as like, just a little, I, I don't know what you count it as, but we're going to continue where we were planning, which if I recall, I actually said we were going to do probably the T-Rex, which is the case. However, where we're going to do them remains a mystery. Because I was originally thinking we could do them right here, but I f thought about it, and I think this is a little bit too small of a space. I might make this an enclosure for something else, but since I'm still feeling in the mood for T-Rex, I was thinking we would do them here. And this way, it could be an early exhibit, but also, you know... <clears throat> if I don't choke on myself, this can be a nice way to connect viewings for other areas. Because, you know, this island is, well, massive. What I'm thinking is we can have a nice um, T-Rex nest or something. You know, because I was thinking, what do I want to do for the T-Rex enclosure? And I was thinking... Well, I want to have a little bit of a movie nostalgia for this one, because, you know, it's Isla Sorna and the Rexes, which, just to clarify, guys, this is not meaning that this is going to be the case for every single enclosure. It's just going to be the case for this one, which I'm thinking, yeah, that's probably a good enough spot. And then what I can do, actually, is I want to use some elevation to this, and I'm going to, well... Mostly elevation. I'll probably keep this side up. Well, actually, let's get onto it because, you know, only planning on recording for an hour, which hopefully I don't take too long. So let's flatten it down. Well, actually, no, hold on. Well, I'll flatten over here. So thinking we can probably not bring it all the way to. Oh, actually, we have it. Oh, we have it lower. Well, you know, that's all right. <laughs> Yeah, not too high. I don't want to make it, like, lower than the rest of the terrain. I need to actually flatten this back up because I want to add the viewing rail because, you know, safety is our priority. So let's grab... where is it? There it is. And we'll start with these guys because, you know, these guys with their flattening and such will be a pain in the butt later, so... Let's get into them. And there we go, we got those. And also, I'm realizing this is gonna be a problem because I probably can't do, I probably can't do an outer one because I am not going through um, retooling the water over and over again. That's gonna take forever. Well, actually, how far? Ugh, yeah, like, oh, that's just annoying. Like, literally, look at this. Well, boom. There, and then... Yeah, about there, we'll be fine. And we'll get the path sorted out, and I'm probably gonna have to fix that path. Yep, gotta fix that again. Oh yeah, first let's add this. I'm actually realizing I'm using the wrong path. I was thinking something a bit more fancy would be right for the T-Rex. All right, so let's try, let's add those again. Gonna need a smaller one. Well, actually, no, I don't think I need it there, but... All 
All right, now that that's done, let's get the terrain lowered up. Which first, let's actually switch the path for something a little bit more fancy. And and also, guys, I want to know how's um your guys's holidays going? I mean, we're literally a few days away from Christmas as of recording this. Probably when this video when this video is coming out, it actually is past Christmas time. So also, how was your Christmas and such, everyone? Like, did you? Did you guys enjoy it and such? Was it fun getting back with family for those of you who can? And hopefully there aren't many of you who weren't able to get back with family for the holidays because if not, then that's, well, that's really sad. And I hope that's not the case because like, it's a holiday, it's the one holiday that like really everyone should be able to be with their family, at least for those who celebrate it. And if there's any that, you know, people, celebrate that's like similar to Christmas or stuff, hopefully they get to be with their families. Luckily for me, it's it's been pretty good so far, you know? Did a lot of Christmas baking lately, which, I mean, that was fun. And, ooh, 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 this is gonna be nice, actually. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do this as just like a viewing resort, and what I'm thinking... Ooh, I know a way I can separate this. Big brain ideas, guys. Sorry I'm off track of what I was just saying, but I want to make it like it so that if, say, this is the only um, arrival point, let's say this is the only proper arrival point we have, I want to make it so that we are going this way, so like this will be the first exhibit that we have view. And also, what is with that crooked tree? Uh, a squirrel moment, a squirrel moment, OCDs, pay attention. Anyway, what I'm thinking is big brain idea. I'm going to just put a hotel here to make sure I don't forget my big brain. But I'm thinking what we can do is have our big brain um, play be the hotels go here. Cause I always like having hotels early on. I, I usually put one or two in some other places, but like the main hotel section definitely should be around here. And I'm thinking we can use that to separate the guest section and what we could do. Ooh, this is a good idea. Have a um, circular hotels bit around and then that way the pathway goes two ways. One way to that this enclosure and one way to that enclosure or from us coming all the way back here i'm thinking that might be the idea that we go with note for a future episode probably not the next one because i'm feeling i already have an idea for the next episode but also guys leave in the comments your guys's ideas and stuff like even on this video like if you got a dinosaur suggestion all that i want to hear them i want to hear all of your ideas let's get back into it which i'm thinking what we can do is actually we'll you we'll go with the path we'll go straight and then I mean, there's not much we can put here. Maybe we can, we could put a viewing tower, like, you know, that way we can direct people here. So viewing tower into here, views into that enclosure, boom. And then what I'm thinking we can do is, well, actually I'm going to switch up the path. Well, no, do I want to, no, let's keep it the same for the moment. And we'll do like a main street little thing here and that way if we play our cards right let's get let's get uh what i wish that for the fancy ones like as soon as you use them you can connect build like i hate the small versions of like these paths just because they're such a pain in the neck to like get to use because like i'm gonna put buildings here and they'll, they'll probably be fine, but, like, there'll be some that are like, ooh, no, it's too close, because... Okay, I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do... Is... Ah, yeah, see what I mean? Hold on, let's try this. I can go large with that. 
And then, it's gonna look a little weird, but what I could do is use that as like a little spot for... Uh, whatchamacallit. Oh wait, hold on, I need it straight, hold on. Okay, so... That should be close enough? If it's not OCD, ignore it. Okay, so there we go, that's... Well, it's a little bit weirdly shaped, so that'll work. And then... That way, for any buildings on the side here, they'll be fine with the skinny path here. And let's just go... No, no. Boom. And let's see. Ooh, it's nice and perfect there. Just don't mess it up, Boston. And please don't clip. Please don't clip. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a seizure. There we go. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. We nailed it. Let's go. And we'll, how many buildings can we fit in between there? We'll do... I'm thinking we'll do... Can we fit a medium, maybe? Oh, God. That's medi That's only medium? Oh, I was thinking we could fit maybe a... Oh, t wait. Actually... Nope, nope. It won't work. I was thinking we could maybe fit, like, a restroom on the side, but I guess we'll have to do it there, but... Or, or... Ooh, ooh. I'm thinking of an idea. I'm thinking of an idea. It might work. Could we put... a viewing t vent? Boom. And then a viewing vent on the other side. Let's get it as close as possible. Boom, and then we go again to boom, and then, no, I don't think we need it there just yet. Next, okay, I can't even control myself there. Next, we'll add the guest buildings will do ook aw oh, man damn it it's too big wait 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 there's an idea in the brain yes yes we can use this to our advantage we can use this to our advantage dear lads do i want the v uh, i already have the visitor center right there uh, do i want the inv innovation center so early on I'm gonna break my rules, and I'm gonna use the, um, visitor center again. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's perfectly fine to use this. And... And that will actually be able to... work in our favor, because what we can do is have, like, a nice closed-off section here and that way it can connect over here. If we go around... And... Let's go... For the final... Oh, wait, we got a switch. And boom. And that should be good. And, you know, maybe we can get, like, a good view or something on it. Oh, wait, that's not even close. We need... We need it right about there. Yeah. And that's pretty much the same. Yep, that's good. Let's take off the little chips. And here I'm thinking what we can do is two little guest sections to view out. We can do one on this side, which can connect to a little bit more guest area here. Like, we could have this section here as like a little nook. So like, the pathway to go around if we want, or no, pathway stays here loops around to here, pathway connects to the hotel section over here. Yep, I got an idea on this, I got an idea. So, let's first get 
our restroom, which we'll go with this guy. I mean, see what I mean? Look, like, look how spaced out it is. Like, that's because it's a small path. Like, it's, it's weird. I don't get the point of that. But, yeah, what can you do? Okay, so, can I switch path without it being, like, you know, too weird? Let's go... I think sand... I think the Sandy Classic might be work. Okay, let's try and get it as close as possible. Oh yeah, I forgot how it had that weird hitbox. Oop, that might work. And then... Okay, that's not gonna work. Now, come on. Okay, there's going to be a little bit of a gap, and I hate that with these bathrooms. Like, why does it have a pathway on the back side of it? Like, is there even a door there? Oh, crap, there is. Well, I was wrong. Okay, so this will go just about to the length of this building there. And then I think we'll make it... That should be able to be enough space for an, one more guest building, right? It's not too... Maybe like a medium one. I don't think a wide one will do. Medium. Yeah, yeah, that works. And that way there's a bit more flow and such. I can stretch the... Work on the path a bit more. Yeah, I like... I like that. That works. So we go there. And then guess let's put this one here for now wait did i just do sushi for all of them i did god damn it Ooh, itchy brain itchy brain and also thirsty thirst ah nice and thirsty well nice and refreshed i cannot speak today at all okay so paths let's add that there and then this one to here. Which, for this one... Or should we do this one to match with that one? Hmm. Or, or, oh, I can... I know, we can have, like, a sp specified area that's, like, just for, like, um... Eating and drinking. Okay, there we go. Nice little round nook. So this will be like specifically for the restaurants here to like dine and whatever. And then this will have like a nice fountain set. Boom, boom, boom. Guess let's go fancy on this right here. First, let's connect this in a natural way. We want it to curve around. Ooh, could I get... Ooh, I can get it straight, actually. I can go... Boom. And then... How does that look? View-wise, that's actually really good. You get to view right and... Although... Well, actually, I'm going to put a fence around here, because if I remember, like... Yeah, security-wise, because... That's a big security risk, you know, if you can view into it. Because not only that little bridge section between the two, but also you could... Oh, excuse me. See, this whole section, so... Oh, boy. Hold on, hold on. Let's take that off for a second. And then... Let's switch it up with that. And then... Let's grab... Okay, that'll have to do. And how's the view, actually? I mean... For in terms of the T-Rex enclosure, you ain't seen anything from that. But it is a nice view and such. And, you know, it differentiates this. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, let's go back to... Oh, wait. I'll need to cut this off. Give me a second. Boom. And then cut this off here. Boom. Buddy, boom. And then curve this around. Bubbity do. And then... Okay, and that keeps it all good. 
which should be fine. Hold on, I'm thinking I want to keep this part separate, so... Let's go into guess. Will this work? Oh, it's just the right size, I think. Just the right size for this to work. Oh, it's a little bit off. It's a little bit off. No. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We could... Ooh, we... Well, actually, no. Screw it. We'll squeeze it in a little bit. We'll go... Well, actually, if we use the... That as the edge... Grab that one, and then that sh Oh, you dirt, you son of a gun. And this is where, my friends, we get into the speed build portion, because I was starting to realize how long this video was going to be when editing, and also, at the end of this, you'll actually hear me being like, well, I gotta stop and start working on the enclosure because I'm running out of time. Because, well... This actually took a lot longer than I anticipated because, well, when it comes to these decorations, I am a OCD freak, and unfortunately, that holds me back a lot of the times. So don't worry, I'll just keep you updated on what we're doing. So in this little section, as you can see, I've closed it off, as I was saying before, the speed montage that you're seeing now, but now I'm making it into like a little guest section. That way, it's like seating for two spots on each side here, and then we're about to move on to the next section, which here I am going to be doing it more open and such. And while we don't complete it in like the video and stuff, I will be showing some B-roll of the finished look of all of this. Now I'm starting to figure out, do I want to separate this? And I do, but instead of going with that um, block, I decide to go with the Jurassic Park gate. That way it kind of opens up to the rest of the... Um, guest section that will be for the rest of the park. Then I add the blocks and such, and this is where I'm going to get very frustrated with my OCD and also with the um, game itself because I go through this multiple times. I'm like, okay, I got it all settled. Oh, wait, now I got to add this wall. Well, we got to do it all again. And as you can see, I'm like, just like, oh, come on, just get in, please fit, come on. And then I finally do. Now we're adding the T-Rex and such, and we're going to add Johnny Boy as well. And I decide to um, block off the bathroom as well, because I know there's a door there, but no one's exiting there from that way. I mean, no one. The plumber goes in the same way. And now I'm like, what do I want to put fountains and such? But then I'm like, no, let's keep it partially separate. And then I realize, hey, we can do this as like a little photo booth thing. So I get like a little security piece there, put it as camera. Now I'm working on the front, which I'm running out of breath, guys. But as you can see, I like am starting to do the little guest section, which here I'm going to be like, eh, what do I want to do? Do I want planters and such? And I'm like fiddling them as best as I can because this game is weird for its mechanics. Start on the other side and... And then we're about to get into the next, um, I don't like this because, as you can see, the Jurassic Park gate's not in the center, and trust me, as in, as who I am is always complaining about, um, being symmetrical, at least with these sort of things, I am about to switch it in a few moments, I'll just be putting some more seats and tables down, but I'm about to go, ah, I want to move it, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And then we get back into the regular speed portion, so let's get you there. Thank you. What time are we on? 44. I'll, I'll continue this area later. I'm basically just going to fill this up and fill this up a little bit, but let's work on the enclosure a bit, which first I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll have a feeder we'll have it right at the center there I mean I'm gonna have I have hunger and stuff turned on I mean off so I mean that would be interesting if I tried to do it with it. and then water oh yay it didn't actually like jump up this time water let's tone it down a little bit well actually you know what that's good enough and can I raise this anymore? Because I want to get it a little bit higher. I might have to use some rocks, actually, but you know what? Okay, I can raise over here. And then, let's get that. And then, trim that down. 
a little bit more elevation up here. Let's get it a little bit layered. Oh, that looks nice, actually. Okay, this music is very different from what I have heard from this game. And also, I should probably get the... Well, actually, I don't need to get the Rexos right now. Don't need to. Um... Now, environment-wise, I'm definitely going to go for a redwood. So let's go with the paints first and change this to more of a dirtier texture. And we'll change this to a bit of a... Let's actually go layer. So rock like this first. I always do this in layers. And let's try not to cut the land off because I don't want it accidentally glitching. Okay, so, rock like that, and then... Veiny textures of gray. And that way we get some color of greens with bits of brown, rock, some darker rocks. And then, you know, we can go and add some rocks. To, you know, making some peaks. And, you know, in case we have a Houdini um, incident again like we did in our Lagoon Park, we'll have a place for our Tyrandons to, you know, take a rest. Okay, nice view ridge there. And then probably for most of this enclosure, I'll have it, like, as invisible fences, you know, to keep them from, you know, just escaping. I'll probably invisible fence around the mountains because I don't want them climbing them too much. Maybe I can keep a little bit, like, this little spot here. That's fine. But most of it I'll keep wrapped around. So let's actually do that. So first, let's go fence, which... I'm going to go classic Jurassic Park style. Wrapped around there. And I'll put some rocks there to give the illusion that, like, it's just... Because it's, like, a mountain, or it's supposed to be, like, a mountain, they don't want to climb it too much. So we'll do that on both sides, actually. So this will be, like, a little mini mountain. So right around there... And then, well, first, actually, let's put in the invisible fences, which, in this one's case, we'll do into the water, because that's okay for me. So let's grab invisible fences. And then there you go. So, not too big of an enclosure, but you know what? That's working for me. That's working. Let's get in some redwood trees, which... I mean, it's not going to show much, is it? Okay, I don't like that it's too foliagey. Like, like, it's fine, but it's not fine. Like, I need a bit less foliage on the ground. So I'll probably use a lot of scenery trees for this guy, unfortunately. Because, like, yeah, look, it's more foliage than it is actual redwood trees. So let's cut a bit of space out. I'll fill it with foliage late. Well, actually, let's go into decorations and let's get the redwoods themselves. That's not the decorations. Nope, we, uh, we may be in the Biosyn map, but we're on Isla Sorna now. So we need all of these guys. So let's go. Boom, boom. Bada boom. Bada shoo. Oh, that hitbox is crazy. And we'll get, let's remember to add a few there and touch. Boom, boom. Shut up, boom, 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 boom. Ba da do, 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 do. And then, let's actually, first before I forget, add a little bit of a rock texture. 
and maybe if the game can survive it, maybe I'll add, like, a bunch of rocks onto this, like, as if, like, they're crumbling rocks and such. But for now, we'll just do the texture and such, because I really don't want to start getting too much into the scenery items in this, because, like, it, it should be able to handle it. Like, all in all, this, while it's a lot of the island, it's nowhere near as much as, like, it would be if it's a full park, so... We'll probably survive, but also I need a drink, because I won't survive. And I'm out of water, so if I start dying from the heat in this room, because it's... It may be winter time, guys, but it's a billion degrees in here. And I'm gonna die. And also... You know, to hide... Well, actually, hold on, hold on. I want to make it thicker in a lot of places, so we'll add a bit more of these guys. And then a clip here, a clip there. Let's switch that out actually, boom. Boom. And you know what? That's not actually too bad. We'll get a few more redwoods, actually. Let's, uh... Undo all those trees. We'll put in redwoods again in a second. Okay, so let's try that again. Because I want it to be, like... Hold on, let's see. How much can I... Yeah, that's a problem. The redwoods are a bit too spacey with in this game. Like, I know they're not, like, trees that, like, constantly grow close to each other, like, in real life. But I really don't like how they're this spaced apart. I like them, like, when, like, it's like they're literally a wall and such that you can't breach. Like, I mean, that's how they're shown on Isla Sorna, after all, and such. Then again, some of the trees in Isla Sorna are, like, five times thicker than a dinosaur, so... Then again, I shouldn't be complaining too much. Alright. Why is Tasia like the fourth one on this list? Like, that's just weird in my opinion. Okay, so. Boom, 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 boom. And in between, we'll put like the occasional smaller tree and such, you know. Just like. Like, uh, whatchamacallit? Like, the bush of doom. Oh, yeah. Frickin'. Invisible fence being invisible pain in my butt. Now here's my problem. I want to have right here like properly thick. So you know what that means. You will not see into there until they get to here. That's what I want. Because I am a picky, greedy, picky, greedy bugger. So we'll get what I want. And then we'll have some... I'm going to make an invisible wall of bushes so that way it's like next to impossible to see. Hold on, I gotta be able to squeeze one. Ooh, there we go. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Yeah, this is like the perfect like plant for me, the bush. Like, not only is it like designed to hide a murder scene, not that I, I not that I've done that with it or something. But it's a perfect way to also, like, you know, give different depths of, like, forests and stuff that's, like, impenetrable. Because, like, when you use, like, the forest brush for, like, um, jungle and stuff and all that, it's, like, it creates a proper forested wall, which is awesome. But this game, when you use the scenery trees, you don't have enough tools to do that, which is kind of weird. Alright, so there we go, nice and forced it, so that way when you're up here, you get a very enclosed feeling, which, it, it may be a bit much, a little bit, but you know what, it's fine, because like, you'll be able to see them again here, which actually, I'm gonna break up a little bit of that forest right up here, so, well actually, I have some that's here, so... Let's go about to here, and then... We'll make that like, 
there. That's much better, actually. That's a better viewpoint. You know, Rexes get to view off, people get to view off into here. It keeps that sort of um, closed feeling there. And you know what? It's looking not too shabby, but I will say, let's add a bit of rocks. That's which is not in decorations, despite how weird that is, that we have the foliage and stuff. Oh my god, it's so wrong. Okay, so... We want it just close enough that it's not going to affect the terrain, which is easier said than done. I have a tree that grows through the stone, which technically dirt is like micro stone, so I mean that works. And then some smaller rocks around the edges and such. There you go, not too shabby of a view. And we've reached about an hour, guys, so I'm thinking that's gonna have to wrap up this video. And also, guys, before we uh, wrap this up, I uh, realized that I had forgotten the key ingredient to this enclosure, which was the uh, nest part, because if you guys remember, like, about 30 minutes ago in the video, you guys may have heard me say, we're gonna build a Rex nest for these T-Rexes. And we were about to end it with a, a lack of a nest. So, this little speed up here is a little bit of a um, apology for forgetting that, because I actually was almost finished editing, like, just cutting out some footage that wasn't needed, and then I was like, wait a minute, I didn't build a nest. Where's the nest? And so I did it, added some little rocks that look like eggs and such, and of course, needed to add a log, because, you know, you can't say no to a log. Then I replenished the trees around, and I decided to have it right between the water and stuff. That way, it's a nice viewpoint when you're on the other side of the island, looking at the enclosure from there. Nothing too serious, just wanted to let you guys know I was adding that. And now, I'll get you back to your regular schedule program. Thank you. Bye-bye. And guys, I have the um, Rexes being made currently right now and such, and that is going to be it. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video, liking, subscribing, hopefully, to help support the channel and such. You guys are amazing. I don't want you to forget that. For all of you who continue to support me, even though 2023 was kind of a cold year for the channel, 2024 will be a different year entirely. We've got a new game, a new series, even more perhaps, and I want to give you guys more because you guys definitely deserve it. You guys helped keep the channel alive for a really cold year and such. So remember guys, subscribe and like to help the help the channel and such. Stay safe out there and hope you guys are enjoying the game for those of you who have it. If you don't, I hope you guys are encouraged to get the game as it's at one of our best for the for the franchise so far. And until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.